Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome back to my channel. So today we have another wash and go video and it's going to be more of a like curl combo kind of a video and I'm really, really excited. And I'm hoping that this wash and go comes out popping. So today we're going to be using, of course, the new Wetline Extreme Gel. I've been absolutely loving this gel and I can't wait to see how it's going to pair with the Camille Rose Curl Maker. Now, I've heard a lot of great things about this and I did use this on a perm rod set that I posted on Instagram in collaboration with Camille Rose and you guys really showed out for that post so I want to say thank you so much but I've never actually tried this product in a wash and go and I figured we can try a little combo of the two and see what magic it creates hopefully it does not create flaky before we begin you guys already know what to do make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video and let's go ahead and get started so of course my hair is already washed and it has my leave-in conditioner in it you guys already know I love to put my leave-in conditioner in the shower so yeah for my leave-in conditioner we keep it in the Camille Rose family and I use the curl love moisture milk I've been absolutely loving this and I'm actually almost finished with it I've used it my last couple of wash days we're not gonna ramble for too long so I don't like to keep you guys here forever so I'm going to just section off that part of my hair pin this and you guys already know the best wash and goes come when the hair is nice and wet so I'm just going to go ahead and Spray this section of hair down. I hate that part of doing my hair. It's like, it gets so cold. So I'm going to go ahead and finger detangle that section. I'm expecting that this wash and go comes out really, really good because I did a Aztec clay mask earlier and I filmed it so you guys will definitely see that video. If it's not up already, it will be up and I will also link it down below in the description box. Basically what that did was strip my hair of any product buildup and toxins so my hair should react to product rather nicely okay now that my hair is detangled I think I'm gonna start off with the Camille Rose curl maker I'm gonna use just about that much I'm gonna warm it up in my hands and start applying that to the section of hair I know this product is supposed to give me some definition so we're hoping to see something. Now, I'm not really expecting it to give me as much definition as like wet line would, but I am expecting to see a little sum sum. Ooh, okay, that's cute. So I've never used this product by itself in a wash and go, and I'm a little fearful of doing so only because I don't know if it's gonna give me the hold that I want. Oh, wow. I don't know why I expected less. Like, it's Camille Rose, like, hello. Look at the definition. That looks so good. Whoa. That's cute. This might be something I can try in the summer for like a really big wash and go. You know what I'm saying? Like not so much hold, but lots of volume. That might look really pretty. So now I'm gonna take some of my Wetline Extreme Gel, warm that up in my hands. There's no flaking going on with the two products mixed, so that's good. Just gonna apply it to that section and really smooth it in my hair. So this is just going to act as some additional definition as well as hold. I'm hoping that this little combo comes out kind of cute. Comment down below if you guys are enjoying my wash and go videos. I really hope that you do. As a natural hair content creator, it gets a little hard because sometimes I run out of things to do to my hair. I don't really have the time to do like flexi rod sets and perm rod sets and all that stuff often. But when I do make the time, I'm, I'll, you know, for sure do it for you guys. But I love doing wash and goes because they're fast. But it's been fun like kind of playing with products and just seeing what wash and goes come out popping. So if you guys are enjoying this little wash and go series that we have going on, please comment down below and also give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep creating them for you. They're definitely inspired by some of my favorite YouTubers like Kimberly Sherelle and Jalen Mitchell. It's been fun just seeing little combos and also trying some of the combos that they do because you know, our hair isn't exactly the same, so it's been fun just to see like, okay, this works for them, how is it gonna work for me? You know what I'm saying? So this is what that section looks like. It looks pretty good. I think this wash and go is going to be a success. I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and work on the next section. So as I said before, just wanna make sure your hair is nice and wet. Finger detangle, apply that curl maker from Camille Rose. 
just smooth that onto the section of hair. And you guys know the best method for me in wash and goes have been the raking method. I just have way too much hair to do the shingling method. That just does not work for me. So just raking that product through, making sure I get every strand has been just the easiest for me and the most effective. Now we're gonna take some of that wet line and just smooth that on top. Okay, so this is what we're currently working with. I feel like it looks pretty good. I'm excited to see the outcome. So you guys already know the routine. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my head and we'll be back to see how it's looking and then we'll dry and hopefully we have no flakes and it's a good wash and go. So if you wanna see how this combo turns out, just keep watching. Alright guys, and I am back. I have finished applying the two products and this is what my hair is currently looking like. It is already starting to dry on this side. You can see this side has a little bit more volume because it's starting to shrink up. But so far so good. I feel like my hair looks really good. It has some shine. It definitely has some definition and I feel like it's going to have some really good hold as well. I think we're going to have if not no flaking, then minimal flaking. I'm noticing for the second time with my Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk uh, using it as a leave-in, it's like kind of sitting on top of my hair, so I have to really, really drench my hair to get the product to penetrate my hair strands. It's really weird. So I'm thinking I might have to do a different leave-in if I get any flaking. So either way, I'm really excited about this. I feel like my hair is gonna come out really, really good. I'm gonna go ahead and sit under the dryer like I usually do and cross your fingers that this wash and go comes out popping. Stay tuned to see the final product. All right, listen, listen. If y'all see lipstick on my teeth, what y'all not gonna do is judge. Okay, what you're not gonna do is judge me, just let me live my life, because I can't stop it from happening. Okay, all right guys, so I am back. It is the next day and my hair is fully dry and I just wanna let you guys know the tea. So, I will give this wash and go uh, eight out of 10 and the reason why I ate and not a 10 is because I, you know what, all right. It's my fault, I feel like, but if you guys can see, and you know I want to be completely transparent, I do have a little bit of like a white cast and some flaking right at the front of my head. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not really, really bad, and this wash and go still looks like popping, like you know what I'm saying? It still looks really, really good, but I do have a little bit of white right in the front of my head. There's a lot of it like more so right here, and I don't blame the product combination as far as the Camille Rose um, Curl Maker and the Wet Line Extreme Gel. I blame myself for not really allowing the leave-in to penetrate my hair. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I did the front of my hair last, right? So typically what happens when you get towards the end, you kind of get a little lazy. The whole like center and back of my head does not have any white cast at all. It's literally just these front two pieces, which was the last part of 
my wash and go process. Now I noticed with just the leave-in alone that it did have like a little white stuff sitting on my head and so I had to really really wet my hair to allow it to seep into my hair strands and I guess I didn't do it enough in the front I guess I got a little lazy and that is the reason why I have some white flakes in the front of my head so I said all that to say don't get lazy <laughs> really really allow the products to penetrate your hair strands and you should be totally fine but as far as the combo together i feel like i have a lot of definition and hold now if you guys see my wet line video alone it definitely gave me a lot of definition it was a lot softer than this wash and go right here so i feel like with the combination of the curl maker my hair has more hold I hope that makes sense to you guys. Either way, the combination is cute though. I think my hair looks really, really nice and I feel like this wash and go will definitely last me a week. If you guys wanna see how I refresh and go to sleep at night, I have a whole dedicated video on that process that I will link in the cards as well as in the description box for you. But yeah, I like it. I feel like my hair looks really, really good and I think it's only gonna look better within the next couple of days. It has been three months since my last trim, so it's definitely time for a trim. But other than that, I think my hair looks good. So I'm going to give the Curl Maker and the Wet Line Extreme Gel Combo two thumbs up. And I approve of doing it. Just make sure your leave-in is really penetrating your hair. Or maybe try a different leave-in and see how that works. But yeah, I'm actually excited about this Curl Combo. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.